Morning, Abotai. Item Shabbat Shalom. Yesterday we started discussing the halachot of changing one's location during a meal and whether or not he has to make a beracha. La halacha we brought down that although there's a machloket, what exactly it means changing me bite le bite from house to house, everybody agrees that if a person actually changed from one house to another through a public domain, then a person would need to make a nubracha. Whereas if it happened within the same house, from room to room, but the avad, a person would not make a nubracha. There's a machloket rishonim, which foods does this, does this apply to? Meaning, what was a person eating before he changed from one house to another that would require a nubracha? According to most rishonim and Manana Shulchan Aruch in Siman Kuf Ein Chet, they hold that it doesn't really matter. All foods, including bread, if a person went from one house to another and wants to continue eating bread, a person would need to make a new birkata motzi. That's the opinion of Marana Shulchan Aruch. Nevertheless, the Rosh, Rabbi Asher, disagrees with this, and he says, no, he says this only applies to fruits. Fruits are something that do not require, if a person eats fruits in one place, you don't need to go back to that place to make bracha acharuna. However, bread is something that even if you ate, let's say you ate bread in one place and then you left, you, you're still obligated to go back to your original place to make birkat amazon. And therefore says the Rosh, that any food that you were eating that requires you to come back to your original place to make the bracha acharuna, for instance, bread, if you changed from one house to another and you want to continue eating bread, the laws of changing location don't apply and you would not make a new bracha. That's the halacha according to the Rosh. Now, although it's a machloket between the Rosh and other Rishonim and Maran Shulchan Aruch, in cases like these, we apply the rule of safik brachot le'akel. And therefore, in a situation like this, if a person was eating bread, and then he goes, to, you shouldn't do this, lechatechila. But then you change, let's say, uh, it was Lel Shabbat or Yom Shabbat, you're in the middle of a bread meal, and then you go across the street to your friend's house, and then he says, come, eat, have, have some bread, la'alacha on ma'aseh, person shouldn't have done that, but la'alacha, he would continue to eat bread without making a new bracha, because out of reverence for the opinion of the Rosh, and safik brachot la'akil. Now, we have to understand, if that's the case, if that's the halacha, what are the foods that require a person to come back to his original place to make bracha chanuna, such that you wouldn't make a new bracha rishona when you go to a new house? We spoke about bread. Bread, birkat amazon, you need to go back to your original place to make it. Also, if a person ate Mizonot items, birkat ala mechia, ala mechia, you need to go back to your original place. Same rule would apply. You would not make a nubracha of mizonot on items if you cross the street to your friend's house. Now, there's a machloket between poskei svarad and poskei ashkenaz. What about fruits of shivat aminim? Dates, grapes, figs, pomegranates. If I ate it in one place, do I have to come back to make ala aetz v'al in the place where I ate it, if I left or not? According to Marana Shulchan Aruch, in Siman Shud Aleph, the halacha is you do not need to come back. You can make ala aetz wherever, even if you left. According to Ashkenazim, you have to make ala aetz just like ala mechia, where you ate. Therefore, according to us, for fruits of Shiv'at Aminim, since you do not have to make bracha acharuna in its place, if you transferred, you would make a new bracha of bure priya aetz in the new house that you went to. Because you don't have to come back to make ala aetz in the place where you ate it. Whereas according to Ashkenazim, they have to come back to make al If they transferred to another house, they would not make a new bracha rishonah of bore Now, everything else, for instance, fruits that are not part of shivat aminim, vegetables, any other foods with, which require she'akol, the halacha is all of these brachot acharonot are bore nefashot. Anything which requires the bracha acharonah of bore nefashot, you do not have to come back to your original place where you ate to make that bracha to make that bracha chanuna. And therefore, if you transferred, let's say a person was eating an apple, and then you go across the street to your friend's house, and now he offers you apples or any other fruits as well, the halacha is that you would, according to all opinions, need to make bore priyayets or bore priyadama on the new foods that he gives you now. You would not be able to continue eating with Arab bracha. Have a wonderful day. Shabbat shalom. Don't forget this evening, um, the earlier minyan 620 downstairs. Uh, for early Shabbat, up here at 7 o'clock, Shabbat Shalom Vurach.